What is it that I find interesting about the Meyer case? It's the spiritual teaching. The universal principles of cause and effect, the process of life and death, and the evolution of consciousness and of the spirit form contained within a human being. The journey of the evolution of the spirit form is absolutely endless. Uh, my name is Michael Uterbrook, and uh, what else would you like to know? <laughs> okay, so let's start this over again. When I was younger, no, when I was younger, I played music, um, and that's how I earned my living, uh, playing clubs, um, doing rock covers, but, you know, that was a phase in my life. Uh, it was uh, a great learning experience, but it was not my actual calling in life. That's not what I wanted to really deep down do in my life. I had just got back from Africa. I was, uh, had spent some time on the west coast of Africa. I was now doing drumming workshops in Toronto. And I was going one afternoon to pick up some drums. They had this TV set up in the living room and there was this video playing. And there were these UFOs flying around in the video. And I sat down and I watched this thing. This guy named Billy Meyer, who had taken all of these photographs and film footage and had been given metal samples. He had the opportunity from multiple sound sources to record the ships. Now, for sure, there's gotta be stuff I can learn from this because I'm on a quest. I'm on a quest to find out how I can be a happier, more fulfilled, creative human being. And I just thought, this is incredible. I can, this needs a little investigation. <laughs> so my journey began. Okay, so I'm walking down Blur Street, heading towards Spadina on the south side of Blur. It's a nice sunny afternoon after having viewed these videos. And I just got outside of uh, Book City and I just stopped dead in my tracks. I was reflecting on an experience that I hadn't thought about in 30 years. One evening, we were out for a walk. I uh, can't remember exactly where we were going, but it was myself, and Bobby, which was, uh, we were the two younger kids, and we were uh, trailing behind the group. And we're on a, on a dirt road, and it's dusk. To my left was a, a bit of a ridge going up from the road, and then there was a field, and then beyond the field there was a forest, and uh, all of a sudden, heard the most incredible sound. It was oscillating, high frequencies, uh, low frequencies. It was completely unknown to me. It didn't hurt my ears, but it certainly wasn't soft. It was very clearly audible. <laughs> I turned to Bobby and we ran. My interest in the Meyer case ended up uh, taking me to the Simyasi Silver Star Center, which is where Billy lives and several other people. One of the times that I went to the center, an Austrian fellow comes into the kitchen. He said, Mike, come out, come out. There's a UFO, <laughs> UFO. <laughs> I'm going, wow. And I, I didn't even put on my shoes. I ran out in my socks. And there were already several people out there. Billy's out there as well. And uh, they're all looking up and Freddie's got his, you know, massive camera on a tripod, you know, huge lens and he's, you know, trying to... I go up to where Billy's uh, standing and I'm trying to see where he's looking up. 
I said, Billy, I can't see anything. He says, there. Uh, and I see this microscopic thing. Gee, wow. I said, how did you see that? He said, the light reflecting, you know, or something to that effect. And so there it was, you know, there was something up there. It was very small. There's a healthy skepticism, which allows you to, uh, to question something and test it, and not believe it, but just test it. And then there's um, an unhealthy skepticism, which is just, ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. If you have a healthy skepticism, and if the, you find this, this case interesting, then I would really highly encourage you to investigate it further because there is a lot of information that can be useful for your own personal evolution. We're not here to try to convince anybody about the reality of this case. Each person will either A, find it interesting or not. It just so happens I found it very interesting. And my personal journey is that I am continuing to investigate this.